You're sharding this battery out, is what you're doing. Because they teach you, if you look at this Granger catalog, they teach you that a motor runs off the current. Put a load of amps, and that's a one horsepower, starts off at 4.4 amps. Now notice something, you get out here to 200 horsepower, it's growing 225 amps. It gets big, is it? It's the weight of this motor. <coughs> it gets bigger and bigger. This one weighs 89.8 pounds, the one horsepower. <coughs> this one weighs 2,200 pounds. Draws 225 amps. <coughs> now they're telling you all motors run off the current. If that was true, this motor is not going to turn over. <coughs> When we hook into these batteries in series, because you can take one zillion of these batteries and put them in series, and the current is equivalent to what's in one battery alone. <coughs> now, Dr. Al Swimmer has came all the way from Phoenix, Arizona. Why don't you stand up, Al? Now, he's been behind me for quite a number of years now. Now, he's telling y'all that all this is true. Everything I'm saying is accurate. Is that not right now? He knows that it's true. That's why he's here. This will change y'all's world. Now, what do y'all, what does your common sense tell you? You would also believe it would be impossible to run this machine off the current as in this little old tiny battery. And that's totally impossible. These gentlemen here would think it would be impossible. Uh, now, we're going to run the machine it's going to run off the current that's in this little tiny battery. Now y'all are here because y'all you think for yourself and you feel pretty sure that I'm not going to be here lying to you. But this has taken me years of work. When I first built this machine in Florida, and that's where I built it at, this thing produced light. That big flywheel. That flywheel weighs 450 pounds. All that weight. It was producing a spark this long, this wide, and would make a noise like thunder. Boom! 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 And it would scare people so much, they would stand, you know, like from here to that car, away from it. They were scared to death of it. Now the power brokers used to uh, come on radio shows as I was on and say, yeah, we know your technology works, we bought your book, but the back spike is too great and it blows up everything. But you'll never make get it up to speed, it'll never be practical. Well, you'll see I have turned lightning and thunder into speed and torque. Because you'll notice something, when I run this machine now, you're not going to see no streak of lightning. You're not going to see a streak of lightning this long. Not that long. Not that long. Not that long. If you have any little teeny tiny spark that in the daytime you can't even hardly see it. It's so tiny. That's because I've turned all that lightning into speed and torque. And that's what I have here is a bunch of these little old batteries. I'm going to give all y'all a free video and I'll give you one of these batteries. But I want you to do something. After you see all this, I want you to tell all your friends. Get on internet tell everyone you can about this technology and everybody should get behind it and help bring it forward because it'll totally change the earth and you know do away with what's happening in the gulf of mexico right now where they're polluting you know that whole uh i've already seen it on tv that people are going bankrupt now because the whole place is getting corrupted with that oil deposit coming in on the land this is something that God has given me for humanity. Now with that, I'm going to start running this machine. Do y'all want to ask me any questions before I run it? Does anyone want to ask me a question? No? All right. Now y'all understand what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something that if you call the manager, Ranger catalog people, like, notice something. This motor weighs 20, their biggest motor weighs 2,200 pounds.
it should not be able to run off the current from this little battery. Now with that, I'll start running.